Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Today is another edition of Sample Saturday where I test out some sample size products throughout the week and let you know what my thoughts are in an attempt to get rid of my sample stash or at least bring it under control. I've been doing pretty good with some things. I have at one point had gotten rid of all my shampoo and conditioners. I got some back because I got some new samples. But today I have a couple of skincare serums. The first one is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Lines Serum, which is an advanced anti-aging wrinkle smoothing miracle concentrate. I really liked this. I used it in the mornings um, and I just, I thought it was really nice. Underneath or in place of your moisturizer, which is interesting. I. I used it as a serum because I it said serum. I did like it. I thought it felt really nice on the skin. I felt like it had some benefits to it. I didn't really feel like it was hydrating. Like I definitely wouldn't replace my moisturizer, but I did like it. It would be something that I would be interested in getting a bigger size of. This little one did give me about four uses, so I got a pretty good idea about what I thought of it. All right, the second thing I got was from Biosense, Biosense, I don't know how to pronounce this company. If you know, let me know. This is a squalene and phytoretinol serum. So it's a retinol alternative. It is not a vitamin A derivative. It was okay. It had, I feel like it had a funky kind of smell. I didn't really enjoy that aspect to it. I thought it was fine. It's not something that I would purchase but i do do really well with retinol i love retinol so if you find retinol is too harsh this might be a good one but it's not something that i would go for because i want something a little harsher that's actually like doing a little bit more for my skin i wasn't a big fan of that one all right next up i have two of these dr dennis gross alpha beta universal daily peel um they were fine they kind of smell a little like acetone to me like they are super strong they will make your eyes water not because they hurt but because of the set is so strong and so chemically that part i don't enjoy with these i felt like they did pretty good i've been breaking out a lot hormonally um and the the thing that I don't like about these is that they take a while. So you take the first one, you rub it on for like basically two minutes until it's supposed to be dry. You just keep rubbing it all over your face. And then you wait two minutes and then you do the same thing with the second piece, which is fine. I just, it takes a little bit extra time. I did use them in the evening because they seemed a little harsh for daytime use and I didn't want to do all of that and then put it on. Um, put makeup on and stuff. So they were okay. I don't think I would actually purchase them I will gladly get them as samples and use them, but I don't know I I don't think they're worth the money because I know they're pretty expensive, too So I liked them, but I didn't love them enough to purchase Which is kind of like a running theme. I feel like all right next up is C Fiore body lotion from Giorgio Armani. I decided to break this one out today because I've been wearing the Lush one that I talked about in last week's video. Um, if you didn't watch it, look for the card right there. Um, that stuff is so thick and so like greasy and the smell is so overwhelming that I decided I need something a little lighter. This smells really nice. I love the smell of the perfume. So this was just a good lotion and so far so good. I haven't used it a ton. It will be in my next empties, but I, I'm liking it so far. Then I have a body wash. This is this winter in Venice that I've talked about a little bit. This is the spring mist and white tea body wash. This isn't as strongly scented as the other products that I've had, like the lotions and stuff. And, um, it's been fine. It washes pretty well. I do feel a little sticky after using it, which I get from quite a few body washes actually, which is why I liked the Bath and Body Works ones so well, is I don't get that kind of like, feel like I have residue left on my skin kind of. This one does leave that a little bit. So I wouldn't purchase this. Um, I did, basically I have like less than one use left. So um, I'm calling this one 
don't think this is great. If you don't like sweet scents though, if you like something that's a little bit more green, you will like this. Um, that's just not really my style. All right, next up is Curology. And you will see that this is moisturizer. It is not a moisturizer. This I got in my Allure box in June, I guess? May, maybe May, May, my, my May. I'm trying to remember what month it is. My May Allure and they messed up and they packaged them incorrectly. So they put cleanser in the moisturizers and moisturizers in the cleansers. I don't know how you do that, but anyway, I've been using this as a cleanser. I think it's the same line, the smooth sailing, and it's a good cleanser. Like it's not stripping of the skin. It works pretty well. I did find that I need to put a squirt of it on my Clarisonic as well as lathering up my face because it does break down and kind of not give you that slip. Um, pretty fast, which I don't like because when I use my Clarisonic, I want enough of a slip that I don't feel like my Clarisonic is catching on my skin. And this one, without that extra boost, it, it did that. It felt like it was catching. This is basically done too. I have less than a use of it. So this one you won't see again. I, I don't think it's worth it. I know with Curology, you have to sign up for their system too. And anything that you have to sign up and get like a system, is not worth it for me. I, I don't like that type of a business model. Finally is from Elemis. This is the Pro Collagen Marine Cream. I've actually used this in the past. I had a full size one in one of my boxy Luxes like over a year ago. And I do like this. I think it is a nice cream. I've been using it on my neck and chest and have had good results with it. It's, you know, pretty emollient. It has some heft to it, but it's not like, overly like I wouldn't use it as a face cream I don't think because it's a little too thick for that because of my oily dry my oily combo skin oily dry skin what am I talking about but I did like this one so yeah if I get another sample of it I will definitely use it as a neck and chest moisturizer those are my samples not a ton um, just trying to keep using up what I can find and I keep finding more stuff everywhere. So let me know what you have been using. Are you taking a break because it's the summer? I feel like I'm slowing down a little bit because it just, I don't want to try a whole bunch of new things. Anyway, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. I hope you are having a fantastic day and I can't wait to talk to you next time.